Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. Lakers, Pelicans. And the winner of that team, that game, as I said, take on Denver. I, um, that game, number one, don't look at the last game and be like, that's what's going to happen. Like, the, the New Orleans Pelicans came off of two very emotional back-to-back -back wins versus Sack on Thursday at us on Friday and then fly home on Saturday for an early game on Sunday. Lakers are coming from Memphis. <clears throat> and actually, you know, they get to New Orleans. Their travel is a lot easier than the Pelicans, <laughs> ironically. And so... I definitely think that plays into account. Pelicans now been at home a few days. They'll be back settled in. Going back home for a game is always tough. When you return home for one game or the first game returning home on a, from a trip, and that's what the Pelicans are going through. So I don't think the Pelicans that you saw in Sunday's game is the Pelicans that you're going to see in tomorrow's game. I think that'll be a totally different matchup. Um, you know, that, that's two teams that's playing extremely well. Now, what does it come down to? Uh, what does it come down to? I think I think uh, I got the Lakers winning that game uh, with a healthy AD. Obviously, AD needs to play. Heard he's questionable. I expect AD to play. Um, but I think they win that game. And the reason I say they win that game, what, what New Orleans will have to do in order to win that game would be essentially what they did versus us, which is hit a bunch of threes. New Orleans does a lot around the rim. Uh, they like to get to the rim. Zion's great at getting to the rim. And AD at the rim is just a different animal, a totally different animal at the rim protecting the rim with AD there. And so I think, me personally, I got the Lakers winning that game for that reason. Um, I, now the Lakers are uh, towards the bottom of the league from a, in a statistical standpoint and defending the three. So if New Orleans can hit threes like they did versus us, they can win. However, you're going to get a heavy dose of Zion. Um, their offense is built around Zion. And Zion at the rim, I think AD can make a lot tough. If AD can make those shots tough at the rim on Zion, I think the Lakers gets out in transition. They're running, they're hitting threes, they're dunking the ball. I think they move on to face the Denver Nuggets, and we're facing New Orleans in New Orleans on Friday. That's just my take. That's what I got. I don't know. You be the judge. You let me know what you think, but that's what I got. We'll see what happens. Moving on to these playoffs. You got the West. OKC, young OKC becomes the youngest team ever to solidify number one seed. Um... The Denver Nuggets, after losing in the play-in last year, Denver Nuggets, number two. Timberwolves, number three. Clippers at four. Mavericks at five. Phoenix at six. Speaking of the play-in, like, Phoenix come down to the last day they needed to get, to get six. It doesn't really shape out like that. That fight don't happen if you're not trying to avoid the play-in. Everybody start picking like, oh, we want to be seven. We're going to lose this game. We want to be eight. With the play-in on the line, you couldn't do that, right? So those are your Western Conference teams. Uh, the matchups that we know are set already are the Timberwolves at three and Phoenix at six. Um, the Clippers at four and the Mavericks at five. Those are the matchups that we know are set. And... As those matchups go, uh, the Timberwolves and Phoenix will be a very interesting matchup. Phoenix, um, you know, Phoenix is playing four out, one in. They got Nurkic at the five, KD at the four. The Timberwolves play two bigs, and Rudy Gobert, Kyle Anthony Towns just back from injury. Now, that could get interesting because you'd say, like, oh, well, their size could kind of make Phoenix pay. But no one really plays that style of basketball anymore. Like, you're not you're not going to post Rudy Gobert and you're not going to post Carl Anthony Towns a ton with Rudy Gobert in the game because the paint just get too tight. No one plays that style of basketball. Meanwhile, Phoenix is pushing the ball back the other way with 
uh, Grayson Allen shooting a career high from three and just getting paid. Kevin D- Durant, we know how K shoot the ball. Book, we know how Book shoot the ball. Brad, we know how Brad shoot the ball. So if they want to slow it down and like throw it in the post, when you miss, they're running back and they're shooting threes. They're hitting threes. No one plays the p- throw the ball in the post. And so you don't necessarily get to take advantage of the size much from that standpoint. Also got the best big off the bench in the league, in my opinion, Nas Reed. How much does the size affect Phoenix? I'm not sure the game is going to allow it to affect them that much. More than it'll affect the Timberwolves having to guard them. And so, obviously, you got young Ant Edwards looking forward to the opportunity. I'm also looking forward to seeing Ant on this stage, me personally, myself, um, going up against these these all star this all star trio that Phoenix got. Uh, one thing that I think is going to be important is who is going to guard Anthony Edwards. I'm assuming Brad Bill will, but I'm gonna tell you. At some point in this series, and I got Phoenix winning. I think Phoenix will win the series. I think they got too much firepower offensively. Um, And that's what it'll come down to for me. But here's what will have to happen for Phoenix to win the series. At some point throughout this series, Kevin Durant is going to go have to guard Anthony Edwards. If Phoenix is going to have a chance at winning this series, at some point, may not be game one, may not be game two or three, but at some point in this series, Kevin Durant is going to have to say, all right, I'm going. And Brad Bill is a good defender. Brad competes, not saying, but at some point, Kevin is going to have to take his lane, his defensive tenacity when he wants to turn that up, and he's going to have to go guard Anthony Edwards if they're going to move forward in this series. That's my take. That's what I'm thinking. However, I got I do have Phoenix winning, but that's going to need to happen. And then you got a heavyweight battle with the Clippers and the Mavericks. Mavericks has played the best basketball that we've seen them play since Luka Doncic has been a Dallas Maverick. Him and Kyrie, what they're doing offensively with the additions of Gafford, P.J. Washington, them boys playing some beautiful basketball. I think those are great additions to them. I think those additions at the trade deadline, Nico Harrison don't get enough credit for. Daniel Gafford addition was a steal. We've all been watching Daniel Gafford in Washington rotting away for the last three, four years or so. Like, man, if that guy can get on a good team, if you had him on a good team, it takes your team to another level. Dallas did it. It's done that. P.J. Washington is playing really good basketball. And so with that, um, the Clippers have not been playing good basketball. Uh, they've been struggling a bit. I am taking Dallas in that series. I think Dallas ultimately gets it done. However, if the Clippers are going to win that series, at what point do you take Kawhi Leonard and you say, all right, now, Kawhi, you go guard Luka Doncic. Here's the key, though. Here's where it gets interesting. When you do that, the X factor in that series is going to be Russell Westbrook because Russell's going to have to guard Kyrie Irving. And when you got Luka on the floor, Kyrie don't get much attention from the defense. You tend to forget. But let me tell you, Kyrie Irving is a monster. And so if you decide to forget, Kyrie going to go off. Ty Lu know that they won a championship together. But Russell Westbrook is the X factor in that series. Russell Westbrook is the X factor for that team. Uh, No surprise they've struggled as much as they've struggled over the last month and a half because Russell missed most of the time. And so Russ on Kyrie, Kawhi going to have to go guard Luka at some point throughout this series. I also think at some point throughout this series, Ty Lue going to have to scrap Russell Westbrook off the bench and move Russell Westbrook into the starting lineup in order to win this series. All right, the NBA season is in full swing, coming down the stretch. 
Then we move right into the playoffs in April, May, and June. I can't wait. Spice things up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA right now. All you have to do is put down five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Pretty good trade-off. I pay five, I get $150. North Carolina listeners, do not forget. Welcome to the party. DraftKings Sportsbook now live in your state, North Carolina. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Takes 90 seconds. The code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Again, 90 seconds. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app. Put in Colin. New customers bet five. Get 150 back in bonus bets instantly. That is the trade. All right. The code is always Colin. The crown is yours. 